Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie and I am here at Dollar Tree. It is a Sunday afternoon and there's hardly anybody here, so I have high hopes that I'll be able to take my time and go through the store and highlight some of the new things. Also, my husband and I just did like a pantry clean out, you know, because we have some food that we store, you know, and I don't want to call myself a prepper, but... I just get this feeling supply chain things are going to be causing shortages and we just don't want to be caught without the things that we need. So I'm looking for uh, good containers that we can use to store some things. And Dollar Tree doesn't normally have things that are large enough to accommodate large quantities, but we're going to see what they have. I'm going to go through the food aisle too just to see what they have that's got a good shelf life. So let's go see what's new. Fall floral. Is there anything here for the floor? Those are cute. I think they had those last year. Daffodils. Kind of the grassy things down there. I don't really see anything except the colors. What's that? Um, um, it's cute. Oh, and the, the ferns that are metallic. Okay. I know the sun, the lighting is kind of bad here, but we can look and see. This, they still seem to have quite a few things here for back to school. That's nice and big. Sophie. They seem to have put the scented things on this end cap, which is good. They might be running low on those, which would not surprise me because and the academic planners that should be up there. That's a cute little pencil pouch. Shell phones. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Yes, I am going to be that, um, that customer. At the very least, tries to make things look a little neater. I know how hard the manager works at the employees at the store work to get everything nice and neat. So it bums me out when people don't respect that and they just make a gigantic mess. Cute little pencil pouch. I feel a little bit better about that. Dot pencils. I haven't tried these, so I don't know. And then there's the uh, index cards. This girl is addicted to office supplies, so. I can never have enough. There's construction paper. And here's another mess. Oh, those are kind of cute. How many? pages. 100 sheets. Okay, that's not bad. They do have notebooks that have 150 sheets, which is better. I mean, that's... That's, you know... Okay, these are the Disney 100. say anything with the Disney 100 on it would be worth I'm gonna get one and then I'll get one of these too for my granddaughter she'll love it okay character pencil patches let's get in there oh my gosh really 
just going to be that difficult. Okay. Okay, they seem to have a dinosaur one. And an LOL. Post-it notes. pages. So I guess it just depends. This is a five subject, this is a three subject, and I guess the hundred is a one subject. Expanding document case. That's nice. Okay. Sorry, better deal at Walmart. That's why they're going to be lowering some prices here pretty soon because they can't compete. I mean, Walmart, I think, sells them two for a dollar. Now, if they mark these as two for a dollar twenty-five, it might be a little bit worth it. Here's the Ticonderoga sharpened primary pencils. Those are cute. These Crayola number two pencils are very good quality. I'll be honest, I haven't tried the Jot, so I have no idea if they're any good. But... I can be picky about my pencils. There's the colored, or the scented crayons. Okay. Some more of the larger scented crayons. And again, um, Walmart is selling these for 50 cents, and if you get the crazy art, you're getting them for a quarter. Why would you pay a dollar 25? I can't bring those prices down fast enough for me. And then you have the um, flashcards and the Play School 36 count crayons. I don't remember if I tested these. But uh, they used to not be a very good crayon, so we'll see. Organizers, drawer organizers, school glue, Elmer's school glue is really good. The Jock glue sticks this year stink. These are no good. Leave them. You'd probably do better with this. So. And they have these cup organizers. Great, not just for organizing things, but, uh, and look, I like this larger caddy versus the smaller. Um, drinks in the car for a large family. Oh, I love it. These mini composition notebooks, three pack. These are the three pack of the legal pads. Magnetic bulletin boards, we've seen all these. And the array 100 page count notepad. I love them all. Wooden rulers, this glitter ruler, this flexible ruler, this pop sensory ruler. They've got them all. So just be aware. Ioni still has this Bon Voyage makeup bar, which is really cool. I, I've got this Shanghai um, lip butter, shea butter lipstick. It goes on like a lip balm, I kid you not. This is the England eyeliner purple. This is the Thailand eyeliner in green. This is the Hollywood lip pencil. I do have this one. 
Persia Volumizing Mascara. What color is it? Is it purple? Yeah, Persian purple. No thanks. I don't like lip plumpers either. Rio de Janeiro, although that's where my brother-in-law's from. The Bahamas lip pencil. Oh, that's nice. Do I have that one? Okay, I'm going to get it. Okay, and then they have the eyelashes, which I generally do not do. And you can see they have Greece, New York, England, Paris, Italy, Shanghai, Singapore. So you just have to... I do have this one here, Japan. The uh, Japan Chubby Lipstick and then the Playa Del Rey. Brazil, the rainbow brow powder. So that's not eyeshadow, that's for your eyebrows. <laughs> and what's this one for? Greece, blue mascara. India, glitter liner. Something about glitter near my eyes I'm not okay with. Right? Anyone feel me? Okay. There's a huge window here, so there's a lot of glare. But these are the metal stakes. These are really cute. But some have these beads, some do not. This is the corn and the sunflowers. And I know they have gnomes or something somewhere. More of your fall floral. And then some of these, Harvest Welcome Blessed, Home Sweet Home. They have some new signage this year with the gnomes on it. And then some of the old standards. These are nice big ones. Mm -hmm. I have all these little recipe signs that they have. They have one for apple pie, pumpkin pie, and apple cider. Hot apple cider. So look for them. I'm thrilled that they're getting a lot of football decor, which is really cute because football season. Yes, football season. And then more of your beautiful fall floral. I love these floral clips. These are really great to just like grab one of these and clip them to the top or to the side of your curtains that are drawn back. Just clip them right on the tie back. And just pick your color. It's a great way to add a little splash of something. You could even put that in your hair if you want. Little singular blossom. These are nice. I usually just pluck them right out of there and use them for something if I need to. Really cute. What's this? Okay, that's a eucalyptus. It's plastic. I like it when they're still. I'm looking for the leather leaves and the leather pumpkins and all that. Behind me are the backpacks and the insulated lunch boxes. It may not be the sturdiest. And like this is this is a carryover from last year, which why not? And I think this one might be as well. This is for this year. That's from last year. This is from this year. This one might be for this year. But it doesn't matter, you know. I mean that to me would be a cute little overnight backpack to a friend's house. Grandma's or something, throw your stuff in there. Fun stuff. Go to your friend's house for the, you know, afternoon, bring your stuff in there, you know, in the car, things, yeah. Not for every day to school, it wouldn't last. This end cap has the 2024 calendars. I'm still looking for the crown jewel planners. But these are, these seem to be pretty. That one's pretty. Did I see these already? I don't think I've seen these. These are cute. Stick that in their binder. And take it, and they have the butterflies, which is really cute. And they do have some plain ones. I like, I like illustrations on mine. I'm just saying. They do have desk planners here too, which are good. And then of course the fun wall calendars. They have everything. <laughs> and look at this one. This one has. Oh, these come with a second one. Blossoms, kittens, landscapes, and inspirational quotes. These are fun to grab these 
for Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers and as a paper crafter or a planner or someone who does um, junk journaling look at the images and see if it's something you want to cut out and grab a few you know this one here has you see that scenic beauty mountains flowers butterflies sunrises and sunsets puppies tropical islands birds birds of prey horses kittens mountains yeah I'm not seeing the ones that have all the um, like the farmhouse kind of things I've seen some others that are really nice I want to go grab them I better go find them you know what I mean so they have large print ones right there so those are good mama needs those Halloween is out, and I'm going to hazard a guess and say these are carryovers from last year because nothing looks new to me. But then again, Halloween's not really my thing. Okay, I do think this is new, but this is not Halloween. This is fall. There's a distinction between the two. All right. So this looks like new. It might be a fun little activity to do. Yeah, the... Um, the tinsel stems, the brooms, the bows. I mean, if Halloween's your thing, they have everything you need here. That's fall, simply blessed. These are new. I don't remember these from last year. Gathered together and be grateful, thankful, and blessed. You know, this would make a, a great hostess gift because the fall, I think, is, you know, party season and going to people's houses and things like that. And, uh, to put something together, some homemade goodies, and stick them in there with a bow. That would be great. And now I'm seeing all the, the new stuff. Here's our little friend. Here are the burlap pumpkins. Let me... Okay. Okay. Looks like we have the orange and the brown. Is there another color? No, it looks like it's just the orange and the brown. Stick that there and let's see what's in here. Harvest acorns. These would be cute to add like table scatter. Or you could do something, you know, like on a little centerpiece that you're doing. You know, just have some scattered around like it's coming out of the cornucopia. Or craft with that. Let's see. Make sure I'm putting everything back. Here's some mini pumpkins. Let's bring these down. Okay, these look like velvet. So they have a navy blue, a dark, dark green, brownish green, teal, this mauvey color, this burnt orange, and this silvery gray. That might be an indicator of the pumpkins we're gonna see in a few other places. Uh oh, full leather pumpkins. Let's see. I did napkin rings with these last year. So there's like a beige color, the orange, gray, and there's a, like a, a brown. You can look in my DIY playlist and find the fall napkin rings literally so easy and fast. You could do it in less than 10 minutes. And then here are the burlap pumpkins. Oh, I see wax melts. And these are the larger ones from the clips. So you have the green. These actually look like the sweater ones. This natural oatmeal color. Here's that orange. Here's the green. There's the brown. See, now that looks like burlap and that looks like a sweater. Right? Okay, orange. Okay. So you see the colors. Okay. So it looks like it's the, the, the dark burlap, the green, the beige, and the orange. Once again, four colors. Okay. We have these cute leaf-shaped can 
candles. I can't tell if they're scented. And this is an owl. is French toast and pumpkin butter and toasted marshmallow. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Okay, you know what? All right, Bartlett pear cider and harvest berry. I remember these from last year. Oh yeah, that's going in. And I think it's just a repeat. Yeah, it's just a repeat. So you have the two. These might be carryovers from last year. I do know that if these sit for too long, they start to smell like a crayon. So if you got them, use them. Y'all, look at this. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to pull everything down, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. Here are the scarecrows. Adorable. And I think I'm gonna stick, and it's a two pack. I'm gonna stick two of them sticking up, just like that, so people know what's in here. These are these natural, that's, I really like that. It makes like a rattan, natural pumpkin pick. Now, you see the colors. So let's go down there. Pumpkins and gourds, we've seen these. And you can see the green does. These are the, the faux wool pumpkins. And it looks to me like there's a white and a, a light orange and this green. I'm not going to be pulling all that down. I'll pick that up in just a minute. They have the larger faux leather pumpkins. Can you see that? Okay. The muted pumpkins. Okay. The velvet pumpkins. I have these. I don't know how many in there. For everyone's taste, you see that? Okay, and then the burlap and metallic pumpkins. Burlap pumpkins, and then the pumpkins and cords, and the plaid pumpkins on the end. Wow. Okay, now that I've got all that out, here are the craft kits. And if I'm not mistaken, there's usually enough in here to make six. So this is this would be for like a Halloween gathering. They got felt stickers. This is a spider. A witch and a bat and then down here is an owl and then the fun little felt stickers and then all the black and purple and red and then they have stuff down here for making you know like ornaments for a Halloween tree and you know the different netting and spiders and all the stuff we like and then they have these velvet pumpkin picks it looks like there's two or three per stick Three. This is muted pumpkin clips. Okay. Sweater pumpkins. There we are. Fabric. That's cute. I like that. Mushrooms. Brown, orange, teal, and red. And it looks like there's three. I have mine from last year, which is adorable. And here's more pumpkins and gourds. See, I'm going up there to look, and they have a box right down here. So that gives you a better idea. And then they do have these. I don't know where these are, but these are very good quality. I love that. And then all the wood decor pieces for doing DIYs. Fun little... That's not, I did get these thinking it was one and I I did in my um, shop uh, or excuse me my haul video discovered this makes six and then here are some more of the pumpkin clips <gasps> look at this that's cute Spice 
for life. These are cute. And there's other colors to that acorn dish. And what's this one here? Pumpkin. Look at that. These are cute. This one says blessed. And then you're going with the pumpkin decor, the burlap leaves, the burlap little stickers which I've gotten. The scarecrow hats. They give us so much for our DIYs. Okay, and then these cute little gnomes. Two for a dollar twenty-five. And then the bows. Although I'm not really a huge fan of these bows, but they're convenient. The sunflowers, a six piece or a nine piece. These I always make hair bows. For those but really great for crafting the decorative picks these are like the plaster okay and there's a few more signs from last year that's down there look at these so cute these are cute i did these too i have these as well these are adorable your trays and stuff. Oh, this has, this is a, like a sticking out element. Hello Autumn. Really cute. Oh my lord, I love fall. These are so cute. Oh, look at this bow. That would make an adorable ribbon. That the wreath hangers this year have this little element on it, a little extra something. Whew, lots of fall. Look at that. I'm not even past the second aisle, and we're already like 26 minutes in. Whew. And this end cap continues our fall decor with more of these are the glittery pumpkins. This is like the flannel pumpkins, really cute. It's like the uh, crate. Welcome Autumn. These are adorable with the that one's coming loose a little bit. I have these that look like rolling pins. Adorable. More scarecrow picks. And these are the ceramic pearlized fall pumpkin. That would be these. And the ribbon. your plaid pumpkins. If you don't have any fall decor, go grab it. All right, we're in the craft area. Those are new. Wow, I've never seen those before. This is great double-sided tape. I don't need any right now, but that are so less, so much more less expensive. Here's their glitters. These are great. Retractable holder. Great for your for pictures, for pencils, for brushes. I'm not seeing anything new though, so we're gonna move on. I see we have the blue, purple, and pink serving dishes. I'm picking up three of these trays, and I hope I find the container here that this fits on top of like a lid. I've done that in the past. They also have it in purple. I'm looking for some storage solutions in my pantry, and so I thought, let me go see if I can grab some of those. And Hopefully we'll find the vessel I need. All right, we're in the book section. It's a little bit of straightening that I need to do, which I do not mind doing. Come on.
small space organizing. Ooh. It's handy to have. Saving Secrets, 278 Smart Ways to Stretch Your Budget. Wow. I love these magazines. That's new. I've never seen that. Word search is great for your mind. I'm not really a fan of Sudoku. Sudoku. Or word. Well, I like the word search. I don't like crossword puzzles. But anyway too much for me. Now you look at the storybooks for the children and I always believe that book ownership goes a long way. I have this one, Caddy Noir Finds Her Voice. That's been a cute um, and then they have the Arthur books. These are really cute. Tiana's Big City Sound. There's a Bugs Bunny. I read that on my channel. And there's some more there. And then they have the Time Warp Teamwork. Some more of that over here, Minnie's Vacation Home. It's just finding stories that'll get your child to fall in love with reading. It's one of the best things you can do for your child. If they read, they can be a consummate learner for the rest of their lives. That's a gift. Where are you? You know what? I'm going to stick that up here. Okay. We look to be all straightened out. And this is the birthday aisle. I don't need anything here because we just had the birthday. And we had a lot of fun. But for those of you who don't know, they do have the number balloons. It's gratifying to see them in relatively good numeric order. <laughs> And this says, be aware of the assorted sizes. You may not get all the sizes you want, but you know, that's a good amount. All kinds of candles and picks and dangling decorations. I love these. Grab some stuff now, you know. So, nice. Make sure you check out some of the hardbound books. It's a good price. The grandmother plot. Some interesting stories. You never know. Wow, breakfast at Tiffany's. toys for little boys. Look at the crane. Really nice to have those if you've got boys or you expect boys over. And I think there's probably a third one in there, but I'm not pulling it down. They still have the Arthur plushies. Okay, which is nice. PBS Kids. Fashion doll furniture. Y'all know that's me. <laughs> okay. These are those glitter balls that light up. And you bang it down on the ground. I'm not going to do it. The, um, the dice. I like these blind bags when they have them, but those are puzzles. Did anyone try this? I 
didn't have great success with a few of them that I bought, so I've kind of been gun shy about buying more. So, and also be thinking now of things that you can get for the Operation Christmas Child um, boxes in the fall. It's a great you get you grab a shoe box that's through Samaritan's purse and you fill it with toys for a child as well as some necessities like socks and a bar of soap and a toothbrush school supplies and they want you to get a really good toy like a, a real Barbie doll but you can come here and get the outfits and stuff for the Barbie doll you know like a glue stick pencil sharpener some pencils box of crayons you know no liquids and they don't want toothpaste anymore either because that creates a problem but even in chalk and a small chalkboard a pair of safety scissors things that will give them what they need you know and all the way on up to 14 and so they talked about a few things of you know like um, getting the empty pill cases and filling it with some a sewing kit and maybe some fabric so an older girl can create something for herself or you know it's just a really neat way to hair things, hairbrush, flip-flops, <laughs> you know, socks and slippers. Oh, look at these cute little Peppa Pig pod pals. Those are adorable. And then these, I've seen these before. This is the Style Studio. You could get things like this, but you would have to take it out of the box so it could fit into the shoebox. And it's the plastic shoebox. Basic basic cards because they can use that for school as well like these a pack of these you can put in there a jump rope something like this wouldn't fit so there's no point you know but little cars and the girls love the cars too I think when they said one of the best things is um, and they got a lot of toys on clearance now at Walmart because they're getting ready to bring in the Christmas stuff so it's a good time to go look for some things Nothing scary. I think one of the things I did last year is I got all of the Arthur plushies and all of a whole set of the books put in there along with a Barbie doll and then the other stuff that they need. But look, they got the Berenstain Bears are here. A stuffed animal is always wonderful for the children. But you could probably get a little bit of a larger shoe box, get one of these. Put her inside it. Get like one of every one of those outfits for her. And then grab one of these and just throw the purses in. The shoes would never fit, but the purses would do. Right? I wouldn't mind getting that. <laughs> Here's the jump ropes, tea sets, all kinds of fun things. And even this. Harmonica. Good ideas. This is a new one I've seen from Color Forms. The Chinese checkers and the regular checkers, are they call triangle checkers now. Fun. And then there's a tic tac toe and the wave splash, whatever that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to get that tic-tac-toe one. All right, Tonka brand little trucks, basic trucks for three and up. They have this, I guess, red fire truck, the dump truck. Oh, and there's stickers you put on it. Okay. I think there's an ambulance. Nerf 
disc launchers, which look kind of cute. I want them to get more of these in because my granddaughter loves them. They have the stampers and the necklaces and little bracelet sets and things like that. So, yeah. Okay. Your Action Hero. So, this is not Final Faction. These are different. There's Final Faction. And all the parts, they still have them. But now they're coming. What's this? Alpha Team. Okay. Cute. I don't know who's playing that. Oh, these are the sticky note pads. These are nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Super glide. Oh. Cello or cello, that's a really good pin. These seem to be the pink, purple, and blue pins. I've had the black ones, they work well, but they don't last long. And then, of course, I use the daylights out of pins. Okay, this end cap has the organizing pegboard hooks and accessories, so that's something to look for. And then the cutting vinyl for the Cricut machine. Oh, I'm glad to see they got them in those plastic containers. These are the oils. For the oil burners. I don't think they're they're not essential, they're fragrance oils. These candles are really good. They do a great job with these. And then these I think are incense sticks. These are they do a really good job with their basic luminescence. I prefer their um Apple cinnamon is fabulous. Beach rose. Okay, that's not bad. They add something to it. Okay. And then the sachets down there. Those can be a little overwhelming. If you live in an area with hurricanes, it might be good to have some emergency candles. I'm going to grab some of these. Then on the other side of this, we have batteries. Okay. Okay. I keep looking for those sunbeam lamps and things that they had. The electronics, LA's and night lights and all kinds of good stuff here. And then car accessories, things for your car, the steering wheel, fresheners, and then the name brand Armor All. There's glass cleaner, there's multi-purpose cleaner, leather care. I mean, you could put together a little something, something for your honey or Santa Claus could come here, spray wax. Basically, it'd be one car cleaning would take, use up all that. But that's fun. much for me. Oh, kind, happy you. I like it. What's this one? Home, a story of who we are, a collection of things we love, family, the people you live for, laugh with, and love most, one of life's greatest blessings, and friends, people whom one knows, loves, and trusts. I've never seen that. That's pretty. Craft shapes, craft flower ornament, so many fun things to do with your kids. And look at these burlap flowers. All kind of good stuff. <laughs> home sweet home. Home for that farmhouse look. And they have some patriotic things left over. These are fun little... in the canvases but they do have the wreath forms here this is the wheel I 
I've seen people do amazing things with us. You can just look on Facebook, uh, Dollar Tree Crafts. You'll find some great stuff. This area's a bit messy, but all kinds of things, ropes and stuff and vases and filler and all things. This fun little cotton. This is part of the creativity and the floral line. So, cute. Everybody's been talking about this. You know what, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Okay, and this is incredible. Totally awesome. It is. Make sure you have enough cleaning stuff on hand. I like the name brands too. Spick and Span does a great job. And they have uh, antibacterial. That's kind of citrusy. This one I think is lavender. And this one over here is lemon. They have an ocean one up there, pine glow. That one does not smell like ocean at all. It had a very um, antiseptic, unpleasant smell to me. Window cleaner, awesome. Rust lime calcium, awesome. Good stuff. Mm, these are good, these Delta Home. Coastal Cedar, warm vanilla. These, not so much. These are really good. I got a lavender one and it stunk so bad. I was like, no, I had to get rid of it. Oh, the rosemary mint. That's what I have now in the kitchen. It's really nice. Oh, what's this? Body Ecology, Nourishing Hand Soap, Pink Vanilla Wish. That's a name brand. Ooh, I think I have two of those at home. And then there's your refillers. I got several of those at home too. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna get me some more of these Copper Care. That's more than a dollar and 25 cents. Six pair of boy socks for $1.25, yes please. I don't have any boys, but. Hmm. I'm always looking for the name brands. Although Dollar Tree has stepped up their quality. Very surprised to see that copper care here. So looking for gold toe. Those run for eight bucks a pair. Okay, here is the Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream. I will get some of this. I've already got two of these. A facial cleanser. They have a whole set. I have some of these already. I'm gonna get some more of these. That is by Global Beauty. I don't know where this one goes. Uh, also by Global Beauty. Mm -hmm. Hair mask and hair serum and hair perfume. Be pure. Now this is super fun and there's like 14.4 ounces of this moldable foam soap and gallop and grape. It's not moldable, but my granddaughter loves it. It's not as thick and fun to play with, but it's a soap, so it's good. Okay, and then we get into the hair care. They have quite a few. I love these mirrors. These are so good. But they have the hair bonnets for those of you who use those. I have no idea if this elastic leaves a mark or not, but I've, I've heard from people who do use these that they're good. So I'm like, okay, a spa comb. And so this is raises and separates hair after removing braids and rollers. And it gently massages the scalp without messing up the hair. It can be used on wet or dry hair with no snagging or tugging. You know, I may need to get one of these for my granddaughter. Okay, they have a weaving set, hair styling scissors. Those are handy to have. And then spiral curling rollers. 
you do perms for yourself, I did not use those. I used the little long tube rollers with a wire in them. They're foam. I don't see them here. But lots of fun hair ties and headbands and these Elastics 700. Oh, these are pretty. Look at those. Back to school. This is Goody. Ouchless medium hair. Okay. No reason to have untidy hair. <laughs> and look cute and match your outfits. So it does need a little tidying up here. But. Swimmers. Pro Silk Clarifying Shampoo. Chlorine damaged hair. You do a lot of swimming in the pool. It's good to know they have this. Okay. Cocoa butter. This is the PS Clean Beauty leave-in conditioners. I think conditioners are black and the black bottles and the shampoos are white bottles. Look at all that. Yes. Okay, what's this? Oh. 12 color eyeshadow. This is called Trendy. That's nice. LA Colors. They do a pretty good job and you can get them in Walmart too. Here's another 12 color palette. This is called Glamorous. I like that there's a lot of browns and muted colors and not. I tend to be more conservative when it comes to. And then here's this one here called Traditional. Yeah, this is the palette I'm leaning towards. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't own the rights to that song that somebody is playing on their phone. <laughs> Fire quartz. Okay, that's cute. Okay. And I'm not seeing anything new here either. I use this. Not this one. I got the tan as a contour. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Don't overlook these dupes. These are dupes for... Um, what is it on here? Cetaphil. That's right. One is a lotion, one is a cleanser. Why not? And these are dupes for the Olay. Olay has three. The bottles even look the same. Vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and collagen. Try them. Compare. Comment below. Let me know if they work. Okay. In the baby stuff, they do have some Fisher-Price, you know, this stinks. Don't bother getting this at all. It does not smell good <laughs> at all. Teether toys. These fun spoons and the plates. And then you have the Fisher Price Brush Buddies Toddler Dental Kit. Two pack. I picked up one. And they always have a fun assortment of pretty socks and fun bandana bibs for the teething and then these cute little clips and headbands and tooth and gum wipes. This, I've shown these before. We don't seem to have the one that's got two that are the similar size, but this is a reusable travel set. Each bag replaces up to 500 single-use plastic zipper bags, and they even have them with prints on them. So we only have the clear ones, but I found some with palm leaves on them in Elizabeth City. So there you go. Ah, Cafe Marl. If you like a nice, strong Spanish coffee, there you go. Espresso. Now all the Dollar Trees have increased their food, so you're finding like Gorton's Fish Sticks, White Castle Burgers, Jose Ole Taquitos, Dove Ice Cream Bars, the Heladas Mexican Minis. These are $5. This case is $4. And you've got pizzas, Red Bear and French Bread Pizzas, and the Corn Dogs, and some, what is those, pork and vegetable dumplings. 
This one over here is three dollars. So you have the original bomb pops, egg or waffles, whole strawberries, Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls and sausage biscuits, mega bowls by banquet, ribeye steaks down there. So and then everything else here is a dollar twenty-five. So they do have a plus section for food. Okay. Life is a beautiful adventure. Just one more cup. These are a set of three. I like these new one. Instant happiness. Take it to go. These are great to have in your home. If you want to um, have something you can just give a guest and say, oh, just take it with you. You know. Oh, good for camping, picnicking. I love this area. I'm on the hunt for my little plastic containers. That I'm not seeing yet, but we'll see. But I, this caught my eye, and I thought, oh, these they've got new designs. Just one more cup. Nice. Some good shelf-stable things to stock up on. Salt. I prefer the kosher salt. But your seasonings, black pepper, stuff that you can flavor up things like rice and beans, which are definitely will last a long time. <laughs> Your um, jarred pickles and things, those are good. Mustard, ketchup, breadcrumbs. They have some good ingredients here you can use to put together a nice meal. Panko crumbs. Of course, if you're going low carb, that's not necessarily going to be the best thing for you, but. Okay, a pizza crust for about 25. Put together your own pizza. You got pepperoni. And. Pizza sauce. All cooked, you just need to heat it up. I haven't tried those, so I have no idea if they're good. Can't recommend them. But, because I've never tried them, so I have no idea. I don't want to scare you wrong. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up and get ready up to go up to the register. I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content on my channel and comment below and let me know if you're finding these things in your Dollar Trees. Have a great day. Bye. Until next time.